Hi guys, welcome to Bookish Shayla. It is Stamp It Like It's Hot Day, and our prompt for this week, or this month actually, is to stamp our own background. So that's what I did. I am going to be using this Scrap a Sketch number 136 from October 4th, and um, it's just a background with three papers layered up, two pictures, a banner, and some embellishments. Let me show you my background. I used this close to my heart stamp. I am going through my close to my heart stamps and really looking at whether I want to keep them or not. And I decided to keep this one because one, it has the skyline too. It just has some good boyish um, things and I always need things for boy layouts, but it's called Urban Flare. I used it and I used five different close to my heart inks. I used Heather, Melon, Paprika, uh, honey and garden green and this is what I have created now I didn't stamp here because I knew that part was going to be covered up but this is what I created for my stamped background I really like how it turned out it's I love the colors and um, let me show you what papers I'm going to be using so my first one is going to be this paper here this is the um, hold on and I'll tell you the storybook collection from Close to My Heart. So I have this paper and then I have this arrow paper and it is supposed to be like a princess storybook kind of theme, but I liked it because it matched one of the Felicity Jane collections that I pulled out and that's what, why I picked it. And then this awesome one with the stars the Felicity Jane I pulled out is called Shay, and I am going to use one of these cards. I'm going to cut it and use it as the banner. I'm going to cut it like that and use it as the banner. And these are my pictures. This is my daughter and I. We went to New York City in November of 21, about a month after um, Broadway opened up again. If you don't if you haven't been around, my daughter and I are big Broadway fans. We're really um, into musical theater. And we were had planned a trip to go in 2020. We uh, tried to go every couple of years. And we had gone in 2018. And I promised that was the first time we had she had ever been. And so after that, she loved it so much. I promised I would take her again. And so I planned on taking her in 2020. Well, we all know what happened in 2020. So in 2021, I told her that as soon as Broadway opened back up, we would go. So Broadway opened back up in October and we went the weekend after Thanksgiving. Just a quick little, we left on Friday, got back on Monday, saw five shows in three and a half days, and it was absolutely amazing. But this is us. This is her. We saw Beauty and the Beast and or not Beauty and the Beast, Phantom of the Opera. And this is a picture in that theater and that's Emma, or outside the theater, and that's Emma in front of it. And then me under the NBC Studio logo, just hanging out. Um, it, if you remember 2021, it was still very much a scare. And so we wore our masks pretty much the entire time we were there. Uh, even when we were outside, uh, mostly out of a courtesy because, um, you know, New York was hit really, really hard in 2020. And so, uh, we wore our masks pretty much everywhere we went. So we don't have very many pictures of our faces, but that's okay. So that is why I used the stamp set is because of the skyline there. And it was an epic trip and we were, we were free spirits and it was awesome. And so that's what I picked. So let me get these down. I did ink these in the Heather Gray just to give it, help it stand out a little bit. Now my squares, I think, are a little, excuse me, my throat's all <coughs> uh, funny. My squares are a little, let's see, how big is this? Four, three, so one and a half. Uh, smaller than I think they are in the picture, but uh, in the sketch. 
but uh, that's okay because I didn't want to cover up very much of the background that I worked so hard on. <laughs> so let me cut these into my banners. These are some three by four cards and I'm just using cutting, I cut it in half and I'm gonna use them as my banners from the sketch. So, actually I think I could almost, yep, use them in one line. Okay. I think actually, let's see if I do that one there and that one there. Yeah, let me just go ahead and put these down. I really like when I make a background with my stamps, I always like it and then I don't ever do it. And I'm like, I should really probably do that more often because I always like how it turns out. about that far apart. And the pictures in the sketch were probably a little shorter, but there wasn't much more that I wanted to cut out, so. So, mine aren't. Okay, there we go. All right, now she has a little cluster down here that I really don't necessarily need, and then she has a cluster up here. So let me show you what all I have to decorate with. I have, I have this sticker sheet from the paper collection, but I don't think there'll be anything on it that I can use. I will look though. I do have So Fun. I could do that one because it was So Fun. Um. You are my treasure. Sorry, I got interrupted. So I am. I forgot that my t the title that I wanted was on that sticker sheet, and that is this is where the magic is. So that's going to be my title. I also have this so fun that I can use, and I think I'm going to put it on foam tape. I don't know where I'm going to place it exactly, but. See what else we got. Okay, so I thought um, she has a cluster up here, so I'm going to start building it. So fun. There's also several arrows that I thought I could use, especially since I used that arrow paper. Hello, oh, my thing's not straight. So I have some arrows that I could put down. Um... There was another one that I thought I could probably use. What was it? Mm. Maybe the rainbow, but it was not rainbowy. It was November and it was cold, like super cold. We weren't quite prepared for that. I had forgotten how cold it got in New York in November. Oh, this. Thought I could do this. Maybe tuck it in here. And then have my so fun. Okay, now I also have my Felicity Jane that I pulled. So let's look at that and see if there's anything I can use in it. I have this arrows, which I'm going to bring in some more arrows. Um, let me go ahead and glue down my, this is where the magic is. 
as I know I want that to go there and I think I'm gonna put some arrows all around. So this is where the magic is. So we can do all kinds of arrows. did that. I also have the alphabet. Um, trying to see. Do I want it? I could just put NYC. There are letter, numbers and letters. That's always good. Okay, I feel like that is super crooked. I don't know why I'm suddenly seeing that that's crooked. Is it? Or is it just me, guys? I can't decide. Oh, well, I'm just going to leave it because, I don't know. There are days when my eyes think everything's crooked. NYC, where do I want to put it? Mm, maybe up here. Oh, the backing just came off of it. So let's use a little glue. Maybe it's because this is crooked. I don't know. I like I said, I swear I'm in Y NYC. I don't think I'm gonna put the year because I have the date to stamp on there. Okay, so I have those. What else do I have? I also have some ephemera. So let's look at it and see if there's anything I can do with it. Let's see, what do we have? We have flowers that would not be appropriate. You know, that's kind of cute. Know, maybe. Although she's wearing short sleeved. Like I said, it's definitely not short sleeve weather. There's a cute tag. I don't know that I really want to add it, but let's see. What about if I just poke it out like that? That's cute. Um, flowers, flowers. Like I said, I'm really not thinking flowers because it was November. There's not a whole lot of flowers blooming in New York in November. Put my label up there. Do I need labels anywhere else? I don't think I'm going to use this. Although I do really like that. I just don't think I'm going to do it. Um, be kind to yourself. A lot more. I could, let's see. Is there another one that's a different color? How about adding the pink one? here. That's cute. And I might move this over. No, I wouldn't need to. Hold on. Put this back where it was. Um, I could do the frames. That's cute. Happy. I could add a star or a heart. That's not a star, Shayla. That's a heart. Um, I 
a heart and a heart and that says like remember when so okay I think oh and then I have these stickers I really wish I could put happy in New York but I don't think I have an in happy the and today Remember, love, us, hope, smile together, that, and moments like this. More of, more of, less lovely, your, it's, happy place. Oh, I could definitely put happy place. Was there a my, or our? Your, it's, happy place, life details, stories, happy, the, and today. Oh, it's the same ones. I do like happy place. I wish I could do our. Okay, sorry again. My husband keeps thinking he needs to come and talk to me. <laughs> so, I was interrupted one more time, but that's it. So, I finished it up. I've glued down my hearts. My, I have my stickers, my arrows. We're a little arrow happy, but that's okay. It says happy here, and it says happy place here, but I'm okay with that. I switched these two frames because I didn't want to cover up so much of this background. So, I put the little frame on Emma and the big frame on me. Um, I added a couple more arrows because I just really wanted to use as many as I could. I need to stamp it, which I already have the date on my stamp. It was November, let's just see, November 27th, 2021. And that is going to do it for me for Stamp It Like It's Hot. I'm sorry for all the interruptions. Thank you for joining me. Go check out everybody else that has done Stamp It Like It Hot. That, 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 that. Stamp It Like It's Hot this month in November. I can't wait to see everybody else's background. I'm sure they're going to be absolutely amazing. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button down below and I will see you next time. Bye guys.